Hey, so it's been uh, raining for like a week straight, which is kind of strange for New Mexico. Uh, but it stopped raining and I came out to go uh, drive down a little bit of a road and uh, maybe do a little bit of shooting. So here, just in case you guys want to see what the water looks like. Yeah, the water is flowing pretty decent. I would like to go all the way down this road. Uh, the other way that we just came from is uh, going down the full road. It's about 20 miles long, goes up into the mountains. But uh, with two wheel drive, uh, don't want to get too far out there and then it start raining even more. And then uh, just because this whole area turns into a huge wash, obviously, and I don't want to have to get worry about sleeping, staying night, getting flooded out or anything like that, so this is about as far back as I wanted to go, and right now we're only driving in about, uh, let me stop and look down at the tire and tell you how deep the water is right here, uh, probably about four or five inches, so. Oh yeah, that's pretty deep right there. But, slow and steady, you'll go right through pretty much all of this. Just don't stop, especially with the water flowing underneath your tires, water and rocks, it'll just start to erode right out from underneath your tires and just start sinking. The truck will start sinking down. I wonder if it'll, usually I would take the road to the left, go up that high ground, but let's go this way, back to down to where I'm going to go shoot, see how bad it is. As long as it's not pure mud, I'll be fine. window up. Yeah, it's not that bad. Let's cut over this way. pretty muddy but that doesn't really mean nothing unless you're in a two-wheel drive like I am right now well we are because you're here with me in spirit
think I will uh, put my pants on and my boots on and then we will go uh, put up some targets. Set some of the targets up that are uh, over here. Another side. So yeah, just in case you were wondering where I just drove from. That's, uh, that's it. This is the shooting place. And there's my nice two-wheel drive truck. Well, one-wheel drive, actually. Thank you, Nissan, for having a full-size truck with a non-locking rear diff. Alright, thanks for watching the video. Oh, and Natalie, if you're watching, I love you. And, uh, you better call me tonight. Okay, bye. So I, uh, came down this really steep hill, uh, and then realized that the road that I was going down uh, is pretty much a dead end. So now, unfortunately, we gotta go try to get back up this hill. So it's probably gonna be interesting. I uh, got out of the truck and walked down it a little bit before I actually uh, drove the truck down just because I was wondering if I'd be able to make it back up, uh, being that the truck is uh, two-wheel drive without a locking differential. So uh, I think I'll get up it. Might be a little bit of a challenge. If not, you know what, I got uh, another day before I got to go back to work, so I figure something out. So here we go. Oh, and we are in a uh, 2005 Nissan Titan, in case you're wondering. So far, no. Let's go back down and get a different line. The uh, back end of the truck was starting to swing on me. So we got down into the uh, ruts on the left side. again same thing tires uh one's getting traction one's not the seat belt's choking me I love ABS.
back up a little bit more, get a run and start. Actually, was starting to wonder if you're we gonna make it. I wasn't worried because I can just drive, go out somewhere over that way, and eventually get out. Might have to cut a fence down or something. But yeah, there she is. So I'm happy we made it up. Uh, probably doesn't look that bad just standing here in wide angle mode with the camera. But it's uh, pretty steep. So, I'll go back over here to where I was get, gonna go shoot a little bit. So, go back over there and do what we came to do. Hmm. Good times. I don't know if you guys want to watch a little bit of it? I guess just keep the camera rolling. New Mexico. Probably gonna regret being in New Mexico for uh three years and not having a four-wheel drive, but I can go pretty pretty much uh, wherever I want to go in this, as long as it's not really steep or muddy or snowy. Those are the uh, things I have issues with, but I've actually went pretty far up in the mountains and, and when it was snowing and uh, didn't have any problems. Just got to be smart, slow, and steady out okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna shut the camera off being it. You guys probably just didn't see nothing but sun. Thanks for watching.